this Assembly Audible podcast is made possible by ATS Automation, Symphony, a digital, high-performing, flexible assembly platform. Symphony is a standardized, modular, high-performance digital assembly platform that delivers high speed and agility with gentle part handling rates from 40 to 1100 ppm and MOEE of over 98%. Learn more about Symphony at www.symphonytech.com. That's symphony with an I, tech.com. Hello and welcome to Assembly TV. I'm your host, Jennifer Pierce, multimedia editor with Assembly Magazine and the host of Assembly Audible. We're reporting to you from the Assembly Show 2022. Chances are you've heard of ATS an industry-leading automation organization with over 40 years of experience. Our guest on Assembly Audible is the definition of self-made success. Peng Ka joined ATS in 2020 and is responsible for the commercialization of Symphony, a technology ATS acquired from Transformix Engineering Incorporated. Peng was the president and CEO of Transformix for 21 years a company she co-founded in her basement and took global. Peng, welcome to Assembly Audible. Thank you for your time today. I'm so excited to have you on the show. Thank you, Jen. I have to tell you, I'm super excited that there's two ladies here talking about advanced manufacturing. So this is uh, an honor. Thank you for inviting me. Well, it's an honor for me as well. I'm relatively new in the industry still, so I can't wait to hear more about <laughs> Symphony and learn from you. Um, as a you know, longtime industry expert, it's a lot of fun. So let's dive right into the questions. Yeah. Okay, what was the catalyst behind why Symphony was developed in 2012? Yeah, so um, what started Symphony was that uh, I've been, I started the company uh, Transformix in my basement in 1995, and we've been building custom assembly equipment for 18 years. And uh, there's a lot of uh, technical challenges with conventional machines. So you have continuous motion that's very high speed, but it's only good for round parts and it's custom design, custom build for a specific product. So there's a lot of risk to the customers. You have pallets and robots, which has flexibility, but in general tend to be very slow. And then you have indexing motion, you know, kind of in the middle between the two. So it's not flexible at all. It's little higher speed. So every single one of these conventional system has been in the market for over the last four decades and nothing has really changed. And so in 2012, after uh, we came from developing a high speed, believe it or not, Jen, a high speed sugar cane seat cutting machine, we had a lot of experience working with uh, servo technologies. And so one of our clients in the continuous motion space basically said, hey, you know guys, if you can bring the slightest innovation to this industry, that would be great. So we decided, you know, don't just bring a slight innovation. I mean, we are known for our, our, uh, our reputation as an innovative company. And so we took our experience uh, from working with servo technology and developed Symphony. And the first couple of generation was address, to address the limitation of continuous motion. So we basically allow you to, our customers in, the, in this space, to assemble small discrete components at the same rate of continuous motion, anything from like 400 to 1100 parts per minute, but at 10% of the touch tooling than what they're currently doing. And then subsequent generations, we decide to take the flexibility further. And so we basically develop it so that it's now in the current generation, it's modular and configurable. So our customer can reconfigure and configure to whatever product or process that they need. So we basically bring the best of conventional technology into this digital platform. That's exciting. Um, to go off script just a little bit, <laughs> sure. I love your website, symphonytech.com. Thank you. Um, it's really well done. And I was like, wow, this just, you can feel the advancements or see the advancements right. because it really kind of, to me, it looked like poetry. <laughs> yes, or it like, is. it looks, I was like, this is art. Yes, it is. That's what I thought when I saw it. So, yeah, you and know. And the, you know, we, we call it Symphony because uh, years ago, one of my uh, former clients looked at the machine in motion and they go, 
Pang, it's a beautiful symphony of motion. It's and I true. love that. It's so true. So, yeah, so I always say, like, if you watch a symphony machine, if you watch it in YouTube, so symphony with an eye tech in YouTube, I always say it's like these beautiful ballerina dancing. It's true. And every single one of our video actually has a, you know, symphony piece of music. So, yeah, thanks for bringing that up, Jen. I love it. I love that, too. The visuals, it really puts it all together. So if you haven't seen Symphony in Action, definitely check it out. Um, okay, so uh, segueing into the next question, tell us a little bit more about Symphony. So what's unique about Symphony? So you heard me basically mention the benefits, which is high speed, high performance, and highly flexible, right? Um, and the modularity aspect of it. So every single machine from Symphony is uh, configured from standard building blocks. I call it the Atto Lego block. So if you're an engineer, and you grew up building Lego, this is an add of Lego blocks. Um, and what it does, but what's unique about Symphony is actually our eCam and what we call our rapid speed matching. That is where all the motion in Symphony machine is synchronized and speed match so that even though we are going really fast, it's very gentle on the parts handling. And the reason we're able to do that is basically we have the, our design process, we have lean manufacturing inside the machine. Wow. So for none value added, like moving you know, parts from like one point to another, we go as fast as we can, and we're, um, the process is critical, like insertion or ultrasonic welding. We basically respect the process time that is needed to get that job done, mm -hmm. or the physics of the parts. We don't change that. So an example is we did recently did a um, proof of principle for a medical device customer, and we were able to show that for the insertion, which is really critical for their auto injector, it's 500 millisecond on the current system. Symphony respect the same time, where their current system takes 800 millisecond to move from point A to point B we took 250 millisecond. So we're able to go really fast, gave our customer much higher output, yet because of this rapid speed matching, we we're able to deliver higher quality as well. So it's such an incredible technology that one of our customer call it the most disruptive technology they've seen in the last 40 years. That's amazing. Didn't I read um, the word, gen yeah, gentle part handling. Yeah. I felt like, that's something that I haven't seen, you know, I haven't seen um, systems described in that way before. Of course, yeah. I am still relatively new <laughs> in the industry, but I thought that's really interesting to call um, Symphony Gentle is fascinating to me. Yeah, so I think the reason we do that, Jen, is that when people look at a Symphony machine, they're all like, oh my gosh, it goes so fast. It must be so hard on the components. Because if you think about continuous motion technology or indexing motion technology, you see these big mechanical dial where they're transferring part and the parts are get scratched or they get mechanically pushed and it's very damaging. It can be very damaging to the parts. With Symphony, because it's digital based and this eCam, um, we are actually, like I said, because all the time is allocated to the insertion, we are very slow in our insertion. If you can, you know, what analogy I can give you, Jen, is so, think of it this way. Symphony is travel on a super track to, to transfer parts. So Jen, you're on a super track or a high speed train in Shinkansen, this case. Shinkansen, yes, okay. we're on the Shinkansen. And I'm at the train <laughs> station. And um, the way Symphony would work is, um, I'm in the train station waiting to hand you a bottle of wine. As I see the train coming at high speed, I'm super girl now, I can calculate the speed at which you're traveling and I start to fly. And so because I'm super girl, I pick up the same speed and I fly at the same relative speed, or what we call rapid speed matching, and I gently hand you that bottle of wine because we're going at the same rate. Whereas in a continuous motion, you're on a high speed train and I'm on the platform, we both have some sort of mechanism and we swipe it and that can be damaging and smash that bottle of wine. That's why we bring up this gentle part handling because at the end of the day, speed doesn't matter if the quality of your, you know, the, the, the number of products that come off your machine isn't good. Like, no one really care. So Key we need point. to have that gentle part handling to ensure you get good insertion and good quality product. 
in the final stage. And the test, you know, we have quality testing on a machine as well. I love that. I love <laughs> what you said about the high speed train. It really, I was really there with you <laughs> during that. I understand you have 27 years yeah. in advanced manufacturing. Right. So there are other assembly technology that make the claims that they are modular and flexible. Right. What's unique about Symphony? So it's really this ECAM and the rapid speed mashing that we talked about. So, you know, you walk around the shop floor and you do see other companies that claim their technology is modular. That's the easy part. You know, building these mechanical systems to make it modular, that's easy. <laughs> but the hard part is how do you provide that high performance and the high speed that companies are looking for? So, you know, what makes Symphony so unique is our ECAM and our rapid speed matching. Yes, it's modular to provide the flexibility that customers are looking for, but it's a high performance that allows you to get more part per minute out of your machine than anything out there right now. And that's our, the heart and core of our patents. So we actually have patents in four continents with over 67 claims, and a lot of it, a lot of it is actually in our software and our servo apps that nobody else have it. So, you know, yeah. that's, that's what really makes Symphony so disruptive for this market. I feel like you and I could talk all day. We can. In fact, let's just go cut, let's go get coffee. I'm kidding. Our last or question. That wine in the, yeah, the train. exactly. <laughs> what are the ideal applications for Symphony? Oh gosh, so I would say that anything can be done on pallets and robot gen can be done on a symphony. So vertical insertion, horizontal insertion, angle insertion. If a client has a special process that's unique to them, we can integrate it into the symphony. So you can have a module that is empty and we can put like existing uh, OEM equipment, ultrasonic welding, gluing, even press, and uh, the control for that OEM machine that is tied to the mid-module control, and then that's tied to our master uh, servo apps. So it's anything that our clients are currently doing on continuous motion, indexing motion, pallets and robot, can be done on a Symphony platform. That's great. Thank you so much for your time today. It was an honor. Thank you so much for inviting me. I love talking to you. For more insights on assembling discrete parts into finished products and the people behind it all, visit our website, assemblymag.com, and be sure to subscribe to the podcast to keep up with our latest episodes. We're also on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, so we invite you to follow us there too. This has been Assembly Audible. Thanks for listening.